Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. How are you? Uh-huh. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You're going to ace it this day. You're going to be just fine. Good morning. Good Mother Gail Trail, and this is just in case. Yes, about that time to get up. Good morning. I have no music to put on to rebuke myself or anybody else about or declare. I've been up since two, two something. The early bird catches the worm, you know. Praise God. How are you? You okay? I hope I'm not too long today and keep you. I'm not I'm not trying to be rude or anything. I, I don't want to if you just too busy, you you gone. But if you don't you know, you don't mind talking to mother. Or you don't mind mother talking to you. Then, then stick with me. I'm going to pray before I do anything else, okay? This is just in case I'm Mother Gail Tree. It is uh, August 23rd, 2023 already. Month one. It is 525 in the morning. Early bird catches the worm. I ain't heard no birds outside the window. Holy Spirit just is, he's chattering. He told me to tell you so. Okay. He told me to tell you something because he loved me. Come on, let's pray. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, we adore you. We exalt you. We lift you up. Because you are the Father, you are Abba Father, you are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sister Nu, Jehovah Hamashiach, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah, oh Lord, Jehovah, you are Jehovah, you are God of everything, you are from the beginning, you will be all the way, there will be no ending. There's no beginning of you. You're all powerful, you're holy, you're mighty, you you're you're so majestic and so full of peace. You are high, you're holy. in the low times, you're you're low. No matter how wide we stretch, Lord, you're there. Right there. There's nothing. You're infinite. And we just want to say thank you for bringing us into the fold. We thank you. And we're learning, Lord Jesus, so much about you from day to day. We ask you, Father God, to have mercy upon us, protect us once again. Cover us with your blood. Bind fear. For fear hath torment. Bind the spirit of lust and pride and anxiety. Any addictions. The Lord rebuke you and I bind you too. I loose the spirit of peace. Joy. Praise. Thanksgiving. Love. I lose kindness upon me. Ha <laughs> I lose patience too. I'm a soldier. We are soldiers in your army. And for this we give you thanks and praise. Amen. You know, sometimes we can pray some lofty prayers. I'm scratching my head because I said a few things just then. That when they come... Um, like especially that word patience, okay, 
But you heard it right here. I prayed it, didn't I? What's a mother to do? You need these things. We need the perseverance. We need forbearance. We need deliverance. We need We need so much. You know what? Because we are soldiers in the Lord's army and we got to fight. Oh yeah. We got to fight. We we weren't uh sent here to live uh uh all ease. All we, we're on earth, boo. Earth. We weren't here to to we weren't sent here by God, allowed to live. Come through those those ovaries, and you know we our sperm hit that ovary, and we beat everybody, and and we we caught that egg, and we stayed in gestation until mother allowed us to come out of her womb, and this was nobody but God's doing for us. Giving birth ain't easy. But we came through and he allowed us to live. He called us according to a purpose. We call he called us and we came through, y'all. Came through that body. Came through to whatever age you are now. We are called the called out ones. I got something to tell you this morning. Listen, years ago. When um, I get tired, tired, just, you know, trying to walk in myself, trying to be strong, but I would get tired. And you'll get tired if you do it in yourself, if you try to live in, in this, you know, I'm going to do good, I'm going to be a good mother. Well, be a good thought. I'm just because cause that's what I'm supposed to do. No, sweetie. You better ask God for help. You just better. You better ask God for help. Um, I used to walk in, in you know, trying to do a good mother, be a good mother because it looked good. Uh, not because I wanted to or anything. Was it fun? I didn't find, uh, I love my kids. Ugh, ugh. I still do. I just, them children. Oh, I love them children. But they used to, uh, that work. Kids are work. Okay? So anyway, I, I would get, there's a lot of things you can get tired about. Mother can get, be tired. You know? Having babies, got little ones get tired. Get tired that man with his mess. <laughs> Call it his mess because he don't agree with your mess. Because we all is messes. You get tired. You're a human being and he loves us so much. But let me tell you what you better not do while you're tired. It's a trick of the enemy. As you get tired and get bored of the word, bored can't take this anymore. These people get on my nerves. You'll see that happen when you get tired too. You get kind of mushy. You get tired. You just can't take it. You sit near the, the you know, the, I used to do. This is what I used to do. I used to sit. I go to church, but I'd sit in the back. I'd change my seat. I did that on several occasions. I changed my seat to the very back. Do you know, before I knew it, I was out that door. I stopped going to church. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. Try. No, I ain't going to tell you. Try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. That's, that's spirit realm stuff. Don't try it. 
Because when you walk away from the church, okay, you doing battle on your own, okay? You're doing battle on your own. Praise the Lord to my sister Wilma. I don't know what you're doing, but I have a feeling. I have a very good, I heard, I heard word. I said, wherever she is, she is lifting up the names of Jesus. I don't hear from my baby sister too often. Okay? I'll tell you this. She's a minister of God. Uh, wherever she is, she's ministering. I have a little baby brother that came to mind too. I'm praying for him to surface when he has some sense. He will. But God got a hook in his jaw. His name is Mike. Oh, by the way, my sister's name is Wilma. Uh -huh. My baby brother's name is Mike. Uh -huh. Mike Cult, as in Michael the Archangel. That's a man of God, preacher man, a preacher man. That's a preacher sister. She's an evangelist. No, she's a minister. No, she's a called out one. Okay fought her way through the womb and got here. She got work to do. Anyway, I gotta tell you something. It's 11 point uh, 37 seconds or 39 seconds, whatever. I have no music to uh, declare my uh, non-copyright uh, privilege to, but uh, I got a song, I was on my knees. I got to sing the song. I know I can't sing, y'all, but my mama would love to sing, though. Mama thinks she could sing. So, so, so have mercy. Now, this song, I ain't heard it from mama. I heard it in the church. It's strange. It's old. It's old. Listen, it goes like this. Oh, sweet wonder, oh, sweet wonder, Jesus, the Son of God. Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I adore him. Jesus, the Son of God. <laughs> I laugh because I can't look at me and sing. You know why? Because I'm thinking a million things looking at me. If I close my eyes, I can sing to him. And that's special. I got something to tell you. It's, it's what he told me to tell you. I was reading the 31st uh, chapter of Psalms. And it just reminded me of all the troubles and trials and tribulations. I spoke to my baby yesterday, one of my sons. And uh, he lives in Texas. And that rain got him down, and he's he feel like somebody stole his teddy bear. That's how he sound. He works uh, every uh, well, his tour. You know, he does quite a few hours all in one clump, and then he's off for a couple of days. It's raining in Texas. We don't know why. 
it's raining as much as it's raining. But uh, I remember when I was last there, he, I got rid of that stagnant water that was sitting in a big old barrel. I poured it out. Him got angry because that was his water for his plants. But, um, because he likes plants. I bet you ain't angry no more. He wanted rain there. It wasn't none of mama's doing, but he wanted rain so bad. <laughs> but uh, he was always a complainer. When the atmosphere falls, we not only feel arthritic pains in our joints physically, but when the barometer falls, the, uh, the it affects the spirit man. It affects the spirit man. That's an affliction, okay? When the sun goes away in the winter and uh, it uh, has a tendency to be, uh, the light is lower and the days are shorter, uh, it affects our emotions. The, the you know, you ever seen the, um, Winter, the dreary, cold, uh, unfriendly atmosphere of winter. The hardness of the ground. Right now, you could dig a hole 40 feet deep, despite the rocks. You could dig around the rocks and pull them out. This is rocky top. Some places you could dig forever and, and no problem. But here you're going to hit some rock. You got to chisel around it or through it. This is Rocky Top, boo. It's called Tennessee. And I love it. Whoever thought Tennessee. Um, I just want to tell you that, uh, you know, we all go through things. And, and uh, last week was a, a Lulu for me. I ain't never been nowhere like I was last week. Never. And I don't want to ever return. Okay, I really don't. I really don't. I fought. And if it wasn't for the Lord, I would not have made it. I fought. I fought. Many of you are fighting. You have to be patient. And that's a fight. Children are hard. Sick. You know, they suffer. Kids, babies, they suffer. They're seeing lots of things happen, and just like us, they suffer. You can listen to the news. <laughs> he is approaching a uh, whatever we call this. This is a, a secession, a recession. Jeez. I don't know if you give, you shall receive. I don't know if you knock, he'll answer. I don't know if you look, you'll live. Mm -hmm. That's what I know. But that's me. Um... We grow weak in our sufferings. There are times we suffer, and, and, and we suffer so hard and so long. Some people are suffering through uh, marriages. They're suffering uh, through divorce. They're suffering through uh, a depression or, or uh, just suffering through physical ailments. Some ailments are emotional. Some people are suffering through fear. We're suffering through anguish. Oh, all of us. Anguish. Anxiety. Anxiety. That's a natural. That's a given as a human being. Are you going to feed me? Or is she not going to feed me? I'm wet. And I'm just saying what a baby would say. Even a baby has anguish. 
Is she gonna feed me or what? What is this? I'm teething, my mouth is hurting, I don't have the words. Mm. Anxiety, pain, even babies suffer anguish. Puppies, dogs, anguish. But what does the Bible tell us that are human? Tell us, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. But that yet is still not what I want to tell you. I want to tell you this, that you know that suffering you're going through, huh? that anxiety, that, uh, that, that sadness, that despair, that doubt, that fear, that anxiety, that, oh God, let me look back on last week. that insecurity, that fear, all of that is, is, you need that because he's, he's exercising that spirit man in you. He's drawing you. You have to call on God to make, tame sanity. You have to. Now, these days, people dying, living, being born. I saw a baby yesterday at T.C. Thompson. She came in the room that we were in. Beautiful little girl with two blonde pigtails. She's she's Caucasian. She had pigtails like a little dog. Her mama opened the door and daddy was behind her. And she said, Why are the adults in this room? When I was in this room, there were no adults in here last time I came in here. And she happened to be standing next to me, and you know I got to say something. The Lord told me to tell her, oh, we just barring it for a little while. But there's adults in here, she said. I said, tell you what, we just gonna use it. And when we, before we leave, we gonna keep, we gonna clean it up. Is that okay? And she said, okay. And then she turned around. She had stitches from the back of her head to almost near the medulla, near the back of the brain, the, 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 near the uh, spinal column there. You know, the, the axis, she had been sewed together because something was cooking. Mama and Daddy coming through this because this child had been afflicted with the little girl in the grace, by the grace of God, was talking to us. Hello? I don't know where your thinking processes are, your speech pattern, I know, but uh, back here, it's the temperature, affects the temperature of your body, I think. Um, I know we have thought up here and something else happens here. But anyway, I'm, I'm keeping you too long. I just wanted to tell you, could you imagine the anxiety of a family? The, 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 the insecurity, the, 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 the times that she was, they were afraid that the child wouldn't come through the surgery or, or they were just anxious over the fact that 
Maybe one day she ran a fever, the other day she didn't. But honey, baby, sweetheart, darling, that child was on her feet talking. Never mind the stitches to the back of the skull. Never mind. Children are resilient. God made them like that. Enjoy your youth, children. And you adults, lay aside all this anxiety and all this, this, you know, do what God said. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, make your request. He answers prayer. He answers prayer. Yes, he does. And don't think of man any higher than you ought to think. You put your eyes on Jesus, not on uh, uh, my favorite pastor. Not, I'm not going to name no names in the name of Jesus. I'm going to throw this out here because she's a homegirl from, from New York. Don't put your faith in Juanita Bynum, Jackie McCullough, or anybody else out there. Who's the other one that I uh, heard from? I blocked her. <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. Whoever the heck she is. <laughs> I forgot her name. Uh, it's, she's popular. Because I've heard her down here. I blocked her. Um, hey. I love y'all. I do. And thank you, uh, Brandon. For letting me know about preachers. Do you know preachers have a, have jealousy? They're jealous of one another. Yeah, we gotta pray about that too. Ain't that something? We have a natural we. I say we. Yeah, I am too. I'm gonna claim it myself. Mothers and fathers ain't nothing but preachers. I love you. I got word. I didn't give you the word. The word is, you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. God sees your affliction. He knows your anguish. He knows. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down, sometimes sometime level to the ground, yes. But you mature Christians that are tying that knot in that rope and holding on for dear life, Hey, he knows. He knows you. You get tired. He knows. And he's a God that will come in just in time. But he's also a God that knows you need growth. You need growth. You need a new testimony. You need to know how to shout. You need to know how to cry. You need to know how to pray. You need to know how to trust him. You need these things to exist. Hallelujah. I love God. I heard that song is in. You don't love God. What's wrong with you? I love God. Hey, I do. I do. I learned some stuff. I learned some stuff. Now that's Psalms 31 and 7. You saw my affliction, knew the anguish of my soul. He sees you. He sees you. My little stepson, little fat one, what's his name? Oh, God. You on Facebook. Sometimes I can spank you, but you don't know no better. You always have an affliction. If something ain't happening, something else is happening. Every time you get on your feet, something else happens so you can't work. <sighs> He's got a hook in your jaw too, sweetie. You notice you keep getting up every morning, no matter what. And you, you sometimes, I think, would like to leave here. You'd like to leave the planet. Okay? But God says no. 
There's a lot of us like that. I was like that too. I wanted to leave the planet. I tried to leave the planet. I made my own vessel. I think I took a bottle of aspirin. That was my yeah. Was that that, that was the way I, that was the way I was trying to get out of here with a baby in the belly. Don't tell me that I did not need patience. That I did not need endurance. That I did not need mental fortitude to keep going. Don't tell me that I need did not need to suffer so that I could see the boundaries that Satan can uh, not cross. Hallelujah. That same baby is 50 years old today. We'll be 51 in November. That same little girl, 19 year, year old girl with that baby in her belly, today she's 69. She didn't just make 69 either. Okay? Don't tell me. We need these things. We need these days. We need him to fix us, to shape us, to mold us, to turn us into vessels of use. I love you. My name is Mother Gail Trail. And I'm preaching myself happy. God bless you. I'm just passing through.